Lately, I've been lacking motivation to work out. From not being able to go outside to no longer having basketball trainings, I would find a thousand excuses to fill up my time and give myself a false reason to not have time to work out. To change this, I tried giving myself the challenge of working out every day for a month. And I thought that creating a video out of it would motivate me to do it. This only lasted one week. I hate working out. Oh. I don't want to work out. Yeah, it's a bit discouraging to see these results. My instinct guided me towards uploading a one week fitness challenge. But that would be lying to myself because I had technically failed that challenge. So instead, I'm turning this content into a video about motivation. What it is, how to stay motivated, and what to do when we're lacking it. Like in my case about my fitness journey. A world with so much to analyze. Details, people, cultures, habits. This is the Reflection Movement. Motivation, also known as that condition inside of us, whether it be a drive or a need that causes us to act. There are a lot of theories in history about motivation and we could go on for ages talking about this, but basically it's just the reason why we do something. Motivation is a goal-oriented feeling that basically consists of one, having a need or a want, two, having this stimulus which needs to be aroused, that is motivation, and three, when the needs are satisfied, the accomplishment of the goal. The problem comes when we don't have that second step, that stimulus or so-called motivation. When we're distracted by something else or just don't have that stimulus, we get stuck in a vicious cycle of not doing what we're supposed to be doing and making ourselves feel horrible about it because you're failing yourself by not achieving that goal. Make sure to stick around to the end because I will be giving some tips on how to stay motivated. But like I always say, before jumping into any solution, you have to understand it. So first of all, why should I even care about motivation at all? As I explained before, if we don't have that stimulus or motivation, we get stuck in that vicious cycle of not doing anything and constantly reprimanding ourselves for not taking any actions. Motivation simply helps us achieve our goals. It makes us feel happier because we have something that we look forward to and makes us feel as if we have a little bit more control over our lives. In the labor market, one's capacity to motivate yourself is also very highly valued because it goes hand in hand with efficiency and is highly linked to emotional intelligence. Psychologist Luis Muigno in his podcast En Viene Tu Mente explains to us how it's a huge misconception that people believe that they don't have motivation. He tells us that there are 11 types of motivations and that if you feel that you're lacking motivation, that just means you haven't found the ideal one for you. On the screen, you can currently see the different types of motivations. There are internal motivations, which are those that arise from the individual, such as receiving ratification for finishing a puzzle, and external motivations, which are those that arise from the environment, such as social recognition, money, or different incentives. However, they all tie back to the individual's goal. Therefore, motivation will always come from within. It's impossible to motivate someone else. Now, I know that's a very strong statement, but stick with me because I'm gonna be explaining why. One example is on how parents educate their kids. If parents are constantly forcing their children to do things without giving them a real reason as to why that's beneficial for them in the future, then of course the kid will do what he has to do in the moment because he has that extrinsic motivation from their parents, which is that pressure that he has to perform. However, they never had that motivation from within in the first place, so when they grow up, and they don't have that pressure coming in from their parents anymore, they will have a much harder time in trying to motivate themselves. So I did a little experiment and I asked my Instagram followers what motivates them. Something that I noticed was that some people actually confuse the idea of getting inspired by others and the actual concept of motivation and how it's tied to its goals. The difference lies in the term inspired. It's very easy to say that you get motivated by watching other people study and be productive on YouTube for 10 hours straight. But those are just little reminders of your own goal. In a sense, you're getting inspired, you're not getting motivated. The motivation is you trying to achieve that goal of studying for that exam. We usually think of personal trainers as those people that stand beside us and motivate us to achieve our fitness goals, but that's not the case. Herman Trang explains to us that the role of a fitness coach is not to motivate their trainees, it's to remind them of the reason as to why they want to achieve that goal so that they can motivate themselves. 
and lose those extra pounds. When we meet the first time, sit down and talk about what their goals are and what they want, why they came to me for help. When, I, when we've been trained for an hour and this person walk away from this gym, they can by themselves do what we have been doing and keep on going. Another misconception that Luis Moeno highlights in his podcast is that society believes that motivation only comes from achievement goals. So those who are motivated by achievements and challenges believe that they lack a lot of motivation. So what happened to my fitness journey? In the beginning, it was great. I had just set myself a challenge. But over time, it started feeling as more of an obligation. This was because I hadn't oriented my goal in the right direction. I had set it as an achievement goal and I was very broad about it. I didn't specify my specific goal. So in the end, I just lost motivation. I didn't know what my goal was and that goal specifically just didn't work for me. If I had oriented that challenge in a different direction, into something that really actually motivated me, then I might have been successful. So what can we do to feel more motivated to achieve our goals? Tip number one, and I've said it throughout the whole video, so I'm not going to go into details, but know what type of goals motivate you. If you're not really sure what motivation type is the one for you, ask yourself the following question. Are you willing to make all the sacrifices needed to achieve that goal? If not, orient it in a different direction. Tip number two is know your goal from top to bottom. If you don't know exactly what your goal is, you're going to give up much more easily and you're not going to be able to keep track of your progress. One tip for that is setting SMART goals. They need to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely, as in giving yourself a timeline for it. And you also need to be constantly reminding yourself of your goal and having it in mind. For example, you can have a visual calendar where you can go crossing off the days where you did something to achieve that goal. Therefore, you have some way of tracking your progress. Tip number three is plan your goal, setting milestones and breaking it down. You need to have a very good plan to be able to make it happen and give yourself rewards throughout the whole process. If you have a very large goal, it's hard to motivate yourself when you see that you have a long road ahead. So if you break it down and set milestones, then you're able to really see your progress. For tip number four is don't give up. We're human and we're going to have moments where we're not reaching or attaining our goals. Don't put yourself down for it. If you stopped, don't give up. Be aware that you stopped and that it's normal. That is already a step in and of itself. It's all about the mindset that you put for yourself. Tip number five is reward yourself. It comes in its definition. The whole reason why we're motivated is to achieve a goal in the end. That is, get a reward in the end that suits you. By giving yourself smaller rewards throughout the whole process, even if they aren't related to the larger goal, for example, having a chocolate bar after four hours of studying, that's gonna help you stay motivated throughout the whole process. Tip number six is just start. Sometimes it just takes us forcing ourselves to start to get into the flow. Even though you might not be motivated right now, once you start, you see your progress that you've had since the beginning, and that will actually motivate you to continue. I wanna say a huge thank you to Herman, which I'll link his Instagram account down below. And I'm also going to link the Luis Molino podcast uh, on motivation in case you want to hear it. If you have any other questions regarding motivation or want me to go into more detail about something because believe it or not, this was a summary, make sure to leave it down below. And I hope to see you guys next week. Bye bye.